dragon's blood, my beauties. <laughs> this is one of my favorite resins, and so we're going to talk about dragon's blood. And you can see, it usually comes in, like, really hard chunks. Um, I'm probably going to spill some of this. It's kind of like a clay red dust, and you usually have to grind it into powder. Um, sometimes at Botanica's, you can get dragon's blood um, kind of already crushed. Semi-fine. There is so much about <laughs> dragon's blood. Um, I'm going to read some of what I have and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, so you can get dragon's blood, not as a, just as a resin, right? That's the main way. And you can also get it in an incense. Sometimes you can get it, uh, in or wit, um, that is made from mixing resin with water or some other type of, of liquid. So in essence, if you have the resin, you can burn it on a charcoal for uh, anything that cause for, cause you to, calls for you to burn dragon's blood. If you are adding dragon's blood, you can add it as a crushed up, the crushed up powder or if you have the liquid, you can add that to your work as well. Um, so some of the uses of the dragon's blood is um, if you're doing work that involves aggression, um, it's excellent for the working of black magic. Um, you can, this is darker work, but you can use it um, to kind of torment enemies um, and the resin is good in works um, if you're trying to entice or um, draw or conjure the energy of lust you can also use this and that's sort of the 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 darker negative magic to some degree depending on how you look at it um, what I typically use it for is for protection and it increases the potency in um, magical works and purification so when you add it to something it increases its potency uh, specifically if you're trying to clear energy but anytime I'm doing work because I'm trying to manifest something that is um, new that is outside of the realm that I typically work in then um, I add dragon's blood and you can burn it you know to while you're doing the work to increase its potency or you can add it um, to your candles if you have it in liquid and or um, the resin and it's really good if you're doing banishing work and like exorcism kind of stuff right so the dragon's blood actually comes from um, a dragon the dragon tree and the resin or the sap that comes from the tree resembles blood and so thus its name um, and so typically it's harvested that way not really um, from cutting down the trees but from that that uh, that sap um, there are and I have heard I have never used dragon's blood for healing physical healing so uh, it's said that though you can use it to like put on uh, open wounds things like that to heal it I feel like it depends on where you source your um, your resin from right and how it was harvested because I think that's what's gonna really make the difference as to whether or not you can use it sort of as the natural band-aid which is what it was used as you know to stop in anything getting in to help keep the wound clean while it heals that type of stuff but depending on where you got it from um, 
you can definitely use the ink, right? If you are um, writing petitions and you want to add power to that petition, you can add dragon's blood to your ink or make an ink out of it and then write your petition. Dragon's blood, <clears throat> its element is fire, its planet is Mars, and its zodiac is Aries. And so some of its main uh, magical uses are power, they add power to spells, right? Manifestation, hello there. Um, any manifestation or intention work that you're using, if you add dragon's blood, it intensifies it. It's good for protection. It's good for drawing love. It is good for uh, money. It's good for healing, for emotional strength. Um, if you get into honoring of gods and goddesses and spirits, if you honor your ancestors, um, dragon's blood is really, really good for that. And again, um, writing your petitions with the dragon's blood ink is a really good way to kind of increase and intensify um, your work using dragon's blood. Now, it's associated with your root chakra, your heart chakra, and your crown chakra. So if you're doing any work that involves that, if you use your chakras um, in any work, things like, so money is and security is about that root chakra, right? Um, your heart chakra is about drawing love. So it, it can be used in all of those types of, um, of spell work. And traditionally, though, it was definitely used as a band-aid. It was definitely used for healing wounds. And it was known greatly for healing um, a broken heart. So that's sort of how I use it. Again, I'm doing this series on, um, I'm checking one of my other notebooks, but I'm doing this series on magical ingredients. And um, if you have any uses, if you found uses for dragon's blood or any of the herbs that I'm going through uh, tonight, please put it in the comments. Let us know, share it with everybody so that we can start learning from each other. But um, that is what I use it for. Um, it's one of my favorites. So I tend to burn it while I am doing my work. And um, I use the ink to seal my work. And so hopefully very soon, sometime this month on YouTube, I'll have um, a video on how I seal my work. And um, you can kind of use that information to come up with your own method of of using dragon's blood so thanks so much and i will see you in the next video and i think the next video we're going to talk about tonight we're going to do bay leaves and sage tonight so that i'm going to do five a day and then this will be in a collection on youtube see you then